Mm, not that one. Sentry could be great. I don't know if you want a crushing trap here. Oh fuck. But we probably want the crushing trap later. <clears throat> what? Which one you're talking about? Oh! You watched seven or eight episodes of Kyle McLaughlin being a retard and gave up? Oh, that's about the new one. Uh, okay, Twin Peaks. Yeah, I, I think I gave up earlier. It just didn't feel like the old one. And it was so cold, wasn't it? I don't know. Uh, it just kind of reminded me of uh, the Twilight Zones. But Black Mirror is shit. Battlestar Galactica is amazing. I wouldn't say Black Mirror is shit. Some episodes are not great. So I would say the episode quality is like... It's always a different story, so in a way it's like... I'm not even sure why it's like... It's a collection of them. It's basically just like... Collection of... Unusual stories. And some of them are just like... Really not that great. But others are pretty... Uh, pretty much... Uh, like, uh, movies of their own. Like, I really like the one with, uh... Well, it's kind of like the Star trek -y one. I really like that one. Also, like, the... I don't know. I don't know the title of the episodes. Uh, I know... I like the one that, uh... Fuck, how, how can I quickly describe it without necessarily spoiling it? The talent show? The talent show. Uh, yeah, the talent show was great. These these two kind of stand out. You went into uh, Love, Death and Robots with high expectations, but was, uh, you got really disappointed. Um, I don't really like to go in with high expectations because uh, that's just basically like the recipe for disaster. I don't like that. I, I try, try to go in with like no expectations, just open mind. Uh, give it a sh chance. Even if I have previous knowledge of the material, or at least I have some ex expectations based on books, I, I try to give it a loop of mind. But this is just my general approach. I'm not, not criticizing you. Your species more on it. One thing I really didn't like, although it was apparently on the average movie, is the Ender's Game movie. Holy fuck. I read the book, and I didn't like the movie a lot. Oh my god. It was so bad. Actually, haven't finished season two of God yet. <laughs> well, the only problem with not keeping up with uh, series is that you're just gonna be spoiled, I, I guess. If you like Battlestar Galactica, I highly recommend The Expanse. Yeah, that's a good recommendation. The only problem is that I'm basically the the sci-fi uh, fanatic here, and if there's anything like if there is a, a, any sci-fi show, there's probably I, I, I've seen it because I, I just really like it. Careful, the moss. Don't trample it. So I, I definitely know about the expanse, although it didn't grab me that much. Expanse is fun to watch, but they don't release as many episodes, so I'm not that hooked. I don't know how would I react to it if I was watching it at one sitting but they just don't really have that many episodes out and also it's kind of a slow burner show if i if i ended up watching the expanse like from start to finish i think i would love it because it's really compelling but it they just don't release a lot of episodes uh which is a bit of a problem i think Okay, read Uzumaki for good short stories. Actually, I thought about uh, reading some... The thing is, I'm... If you oh, come on. I was gonna eat the... Uh, can't call the... I generally prefer uh, a visual and... Like, like voices and uh, pictures. Okay, that sounds like super lame. Like, I'm not really talking about like coloring books, but it, it's more memorable for me if I see like acting, if I see actors, if I see, if I see visuals, if I see, if I hear voice acting. It's just, 
it, it just it's just more memorable for me. That's partially why I was hesitant to even get into anime. Because I can't see the actors. I can hear the voice acting, which is great, and often it's uh, excellent. But what I fail to consider is that what anime has is the freedom to tell more stories. The freedom to tell stories, because you, you're kind of limited by actors in a way in, in uh, TV shows and movies, but you know, anime, anime can just do what the fuck uh, they want, which is, uh, which is great. Uh, makes the stories a lot more refreshing. Uh, just, just like books, you know, stories can be told in books, but they can be told in movies. <clears throat> Adam, did you see Shazam yet? Uh, I don't, I don't believe I have. We check for short stories. I don't know about Shazam. What's this Shazam thing? It's a superhero movie that's new and I have no idea of it. Actually, Puffku is pretty damn strong. Swords I smile at, weapons laugh to school. If you're a sci-fi fanatic, you must have seen uh, Stargate, SG-1 and Atlantis. Atlantis. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I really like those shows. Uh, they inspired... Uh, well, they they defined my early taste in sci-fi quite a bit. I like this sci-fi adventure feeling, you know? We're just like... I love this sense of exploration, the new, the novelty. It is just kind of fun. SG-1, I liked it. But for me, actually, I prefer Atlantis. Uh, I d did like Rodney McKay quite a bit, and I just liked... Uh, the chemistry between the actors. Not so much Taylor. Taylor was kind of the boring one in the group. And I think like I if that if that group didn't have Taylor in it, like she sometimes had the she sometimes was fine. But I felt like she ultimately didn't uh, bring too much to the group. But the rest of the group was pretty fucking solid. They had Aquaman. Alright. S. Zamba is pretty good. Stargate Universe or fuck off. Actually, I, 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 well, I didn't like Universe that much, but, and I stopped watching it after like six episodes. It was that bad because it was different. It was, it was like gloomy. It was like the story was about nothing. There was no compelling characters. It was pretty bad. Like unlike what Stargate was about previously. Okay, let's just keep with this one. Let's go with the smuggler. After that, we maybe we could have played the swordmaster. Ah, oh, that's human. Never mind that. So after that, I kind of went back to universe because I was so starved just for some sci-fi, and uh, apparently universe got a little better. And the second season was actually tolerable. But it was so far away from what uh, Stargate franchise kind of stands for. It was kind of okay, it's an alright, a little bit. First season was weak. Second season was a little better. I won't say it's like one of the better sci-fis, definitely not. But, you know, it's, it's watchable. But first it just started out so weak. Anyway, let's go with the Swordmaster. Universe started good, but got slow. Lost most people by mid-season. Then it got good after the first half. I don't think it got really good, but it was getting a little better. Uh, how was it? Like, I think Rush was just being like... Uh, being an idiot for no reason. Overall, there were just no compelling characters. Maybe Eli was the least hated character. They were just all a bunch of idiots. You, you like nobody. Can you name one fucking character that wasn't a complete idiot? I'm not even like 
Okay, just like someone that's remotely likable. I don't know. I, I couldn't find one. Eli's supposed to be the... I don't know, maybe the relatable character of the bunch, but... Even he was unrelatable. The universe got really good by the end of season 1 and, and in season 2, but they lost most of their core viewers by mid-season. The universe could have worked better if they actually went for like a different title or, or like, I don't know. Like the, the thing is, you can't just, like this is like a, a bigger problem here. This is a, actually a major, major, major problem uh, that, you know, you have like a trademark. Stargate. What does it mean? It, does it stand for like sci-fi adventure TV shows? But you also make like action figures, you also make video games. What, what the fuck does it stand for? Does, if it has Stargate in it, then it counts? What if it doesn't even have Stargate in it? Well, then what the fuck it really stands for? Like, apparently for everything. Uh, the potential of like having Stargate in it, or I don't know. Well, compared to the, the latest Stargate edition of whatever that, I don't know what mess was, of uh... I don't know, just like a mini mini TV series. Uh, it was it was garbage. You really liked Universe? The story captured me so much, the kind of sci-fi adore. <laughs> so apparently you guys liked it more than I did, because I kinda had different expectations. Again, this is the expectations. Like I went in with the expectations that it's just I, I kinda expected something else. I'm not too concerned about that foglet. I was expecting a, a sci-fi adventure, in a way, and it was not that. Hey, Adam, maybe you like uh, Cowboy Bebop? Uh, I do consider what I, I did consider watching it before. And, uh, yeah, I, I plan to. I haven't seen it yet. So, Karen got murdered. Huh. I think we might want to replay the crushing trap eventually. Do I want to lock the foglet? We might want to lock something more important. And the foglet might die anyway. I don't know what to do. I think we might just play a great oak for 13. And just call it a day. <clears throat> and they are working on a new Stargate series, and for me, new Universe was uh, way more way was way worse than Stargate One and Atlantis, but it was uh, okay. I think by season three, it would have gotten good. The problem is, I think it was just so different. That was the, my main problem, so... So, we can... Jorvitz Gambit here. Maybe we can kill the Arrakis drones. You're sending me a message. Have you watched One Punch Man yet? Oh yeah, I've seen that. Huh, what a guy. It was an interesting take on the superhero genre. I also have seen... Uh, how, how's it called? Super? I, that, that movie was definitely ahead of its time. It was really enjoyable. But... I, I don't know. Well, how do you guys feel about all this superhero crap that's going on? Like... Like, not so long ago... It was like Spider-Man remakes. And that was it.
but it's kind of annoying. But if I want to play the, the pitfall trap, it should be now. The front row is gonna take quite a lot of damage. Can't really do too much about that. <clears throat> I can't really move anything in there. Series 2 of One Punch Man comes out soon. Uh, do you guys... Okay, good question. Do you guys watch it uh, with sub or dub? Because I feel like... I, I, I don't know. I'm not, not sure if I want to learn Japanese just to watch it with... You crossed the wrong sorceress. I don't know. I would do it, though. Don't get me wrong. If I live forever, I would 100% learn Japanese. Don't even fucking doubt it for one second. But I'm not sure if I, I'm kind of ready to put in the time right now. Because my mentality is like, hey, that sounds fun to me. I would do it. But I don't know. Sub? Dubbing is shit? I disagree. Some dubs are pretty awesome. So, GG. Yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe. Yeah, we're definitely kicking one of the cutthroats. Probably I should have uh, kicked more of them. So. Uh, we can go with a uh, Pafco. Maybe a tree and boar. Although we don't have a lot of. We don't have the sentries here. Gain extra value. We can do Pafko maybe. It's unlikely that he's gonna die. We'll get that fixed oh, let's go with that. Uh, Spice and Wolf, where you learn e economics uh, with a 1000 year old uh, wolf lolly girl. <laughs> it's such a weird combo, but it, it works and it's great. Holy fuck. Yeah, uh, the one you talked about. Yeah, yeah. I like this mysterious feel to it, and of course it was uh, the romance was very well uh, displayed. I kind of okay. I'm curious about this because I ca I tend to dislike romance usually, and you can say that because I'm a heartless bastard. But I don't think that's it because I like the romance in, for example, her. The romance was great. I like the romance in Spice and Wolf. The romance was again great, but most romantic comedies or romantic whatever, it just, it's just bad. It's kind of like if I see something that has romance in it, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be careful of it, because I'm gonna assume that there's a lot of guys who like romance way too much. I've seen that I'm like, oh no, this is awesome, and I don't know. At least my experience is that romance things, romance series tend to be perhaps overrated a little bit. Personal opinion here. I've got the manga too. Sadly, it's hard to get. Light novel in Poland, even English version. I love the economic uh, part of this series. Well, you can just go up online and see if they have it on the on the on this on the on the <laughs> on the deep seas what's a great name <laughs> what a great name your opponent has yep <laughs> you don't like romance i think it can be done great but usually not Definitely not a genre, uh, genre that I'm usually looking for. So, we often Let's bleed her! I like the romance in Gwent tournaments. <laughs> Elaborate on that. A thousand thunderous Did I see my name? I have. It's kind of sad that right now... 
Merchant tree, even in RPGs, is just shitty added mechanic. Hands up. Am I supposed to put my hands up? Um... I don't know. Uh, I don't know if the game should focus on that one. Seems like the games are just taking uh, themselves too seriously. In some ways these days. Like, there's just like... In the old times, you got the game, you had fun with it, and now you you play an online game, and you're just like, oh, that's my play currency, oh, that's my real currency, and I can trade with players. That is like a, like a, like hours worth of stuff to learn, at least, about just how to, how the game currency uh, system works. Sometimes. Sometimes not. But it's still kind of bullshit. So I can pass and not lose a card, and I think we kind of fucked up here. So I might need to commit to uh, killing him, maybe? But I can't do that. What I can do is trigger the Mahakam Horn, then do the Great Oak. And kill her out, Hunt Snout. And I think that's kind of justifiable. And after this, we can replay your vet. Because right now, we are pretty committed to this round one. But if I pass now and he pushes me round two. That the Ragnarok is not gonna be t that good. So currently I'm gonna be in a mediocre, medium length round 2 with value generating cards. At least one of them. Out! Uh, we can kill that. I am who I need to be. Yeah, I'm just gonna replay the Mahakam Horn. And that's gonna be it. We in the lead by 10 points. We got 29. And that should be pretty good. And there was this one game that had like great system. It had uh, might and magic combat and character system based on crystals giving you magic, but they but the core part was economics. What was the name of the game? Your name is how the movie is called. Oh! Oh. <laughs> I was like, what? Did I see my name? I didn't get it. You should have probably said, did you see the movie, your name? It kind of leads to confusions. Uh... Okay, pass. I haven't seen that, uh, but I do intend to watch it. Like you could buy a flower in one city, then can travel to sell it in another city with profit. But by the time you got there, there is already enough flowers, so you, you lose money that way. But would that be fun gameplay? That's the biggest question. Because it can be done, but is it fun? Apparently, I don't have that many traps. Maybe we kick that. That's better. That's pretty good. And overall, this is just not a particularly impressive selection of cards. But do I want to throw away a crushing trap? I don't know. Do I want to throw away a pitfall trap for something? Not particularly. I think we're just gonna keep it all. We don't remember it. That's the sad part. Mm. Okay, let's go with Smuggler. You need something to take the harshness out of the microphone. 
I recommend the VST sausage fattener. Uh, can you elaborate on that? What do you mean by harshness out of the microphone? Is it a new issue, or is it a new 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 issue right now that I I perhaps caused? Or is it just an ongoing problem? <clears throat> I think people are kind of feed with saving the... Oh, fed up, I suppose that's what you mean. With saving the world bullshit. We already have some good indie games with uh, merchantry, like uh, Moonlighter. Asking John about some stuff, get ready for lecture. Uh, well, you should know about me that I'm actually always pretty eager to learn stuff and I, I, well basically the main things I like are information and having fun so there you go so John bring it on can you quench my thirst your mic is presenting a brittle mid-range without the compressor Most large capsule microphones have this issue. I feel like I need to ask what is a brittle mid-range. Nice R&R. &R. Yeah, I forgot about using the R&R. &R. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Don't worry, we are still good. Thanks for telling me that. Oh, we got a Primal Savagery. That's kind of good. Mm, let's do a Dobratana Sentry. Wait, shouldn't I kill that bitch in the back? Doesn't he want to heal it? We should totally kill that, right? Does anybody else mind uh, Mike except John? No, no, no. I, I definitely uh, looking for feedback on it. I'm I'm not an audio guy myself, and I think I, I managed to improve the situation uh, from the starting point. So. So I'll just go with the smuggler. And just for the sake of it, I think we're killing Juta. That seems like a good idea. Then we're gonna go Pitfall Trap. Then Crushing Trap. I think he's just gonna play Juta. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's pretty big. Uh, let's go with that. What's up with the bear? Destroy an allied unit, then heal self. Alright. <clears throat> Between 5k and 12k, it's... A lesson in humility. It's okay, hurts. It's making now. the voice seem metallic. Metal. Metallic. Whatever. I can't say it, okay? For some reason, I can't say it now. Normally, when John says stuff like that and streamer listens, I can then hear that sound got better. But true salt, it's not about being bad, it's about improvement. The mix sounds fine. It is just an advice how to make it better. Hmm. Okay, let's play the crushing trap. I tend to think that I have a decent voice. It's not, not like a radio voice, but it's like a decent, I think like pleasant enough to listen to. Holy fuck, that's bad. So we gotta move this guy. Rushing trap. Uh, the reason why I said it is like, I felt like my voice wasn't really coming through before. Uh, fully. 
but it's kind of hard to tell. I kind of, I kind of got to the point where it's, it's good enough, like more than good enough, perhaps. But it's kind of hard to tell if uh, any kind of extra improvement is is gonna be relatively minor. But what do I need to do? Like that, just install that plugin and try to uh, mess around with it. The whatever that plugin is. Anyway, pass Rooney. We got him. Crushing trap! Yeah. It's easy. We don't even have to play Ragnarok. <laughs> GG.